Okay, so in my last video, as I mentioned, I was going to build a cocktail arcade machine. And, uh, finally finished it, so here it is. Uh, it works like the uh, Retrocade machine, which I've put in a previous video. Basically, it uh, well, you can put in an iPod or an iPhone or an Android phone running main for all inside and the controls connect up using Bluetooth. So this is a little bit of a view around. So with the controls, uh, sort of similar to the Retrocade, you've got your start button and this exits uh, the menu in main. The usual joystick with the uh, aluminium ball top. Four fire buttons and we've got the coin door with the coin button and that gives you credits. Uh, the siding is uh, varnish uh, cedar cladding. See that? Yes, it's it's having a bit of trouble focusing. Okay. Um, and then on top, we've basically got the same artwork, or same named artwork, replicated again, and I've done this one again myself. Okay, let's see if we can play a game. Now again this one's main and again with the legality of main uh, you need to own the PCBs of the games you want to play. Alright, so I'll put in the coin and we'll start it up. As you can see, it's, uh, I thought it was going to be hard to control uh, just because of the design of a cocktail machine. But actually, uh, you find that you hold the sides like this, and it's quite easy to, to hold and, and control just uh, using the joystick with your thumbs and the fire button with your thumbs. So I was a bit surprised. Yeah, it was a good surprise. Anyway, uh, you can see I'm running Xevious here. So I can exit out of this, and I've uh, got Gallagher as well. Start that one up. Put in a coin. Start. Yeah. Anyway, that is it. And when you finish, just pop the lid, take your iPod. There you go. Uh, now, at the end of this video, I might, if I can work out how to do it, append uh, a slideshow of the build of this. If not, uh, I'll have another video with a link in this video in the description. Anyway, thanks.